Hello and welcome back to Medical Videopedia. And in this video, we discuss the 10 symptoms of vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C is an essential vitamin, and if you don't regularly consume foods that contain vitamin C as part of a healthy diet, you may become deficient in it. Vitamin C deficiencies are thought to have been much more common throughout history. However, in modern developed nations, such as the United States or European countries, deficiencies have a tendency to be rare. This is due to the ready availability of fresh produce, fruits, and vegetables. Vitamin C supplementation is a wonderful way to boost your daily intake. Vitamin C supplements are widely available and are typically very affordable. With that said, here are 10 important symptoms to pay attention to that may indicate that you have vitamin C deficiency. Number one, unexplained weight gain. Vitamin C may help protect against obesity by regulating the release of fat from fat cells, reducing stress hormones, and decreasing inflammation. Research has found a consistent link between low intake of vitamin C and excess body fat, but it's not clear whether it's a cause and effect relationship. Interestingly, low blood levels of vitamin C have been linked to higher amounts of belly fat, even in normal weight individuals. Number two. Mood issues such as irritability and fatigue. It has been documented that two of the earliest signs of having a vitamin C deficiency are fatigue and poor mood. These symptoms can appear even before a full-blown deficiency develops. While fatigue and irritability may be some of the first symptoms to appear, they typically resolve after just a few days of adequate intake of vitamin C or within 24 hours of high-dose supplementation. Number three, heart issues and inflammation. Lower intake of vitamin C has been shown to be linked to higher levels of inflammation and oxidative stress, as well as increased risk of heart diseases. One study found that adults with the lowest blood levels of vitamin C were nearly 40% more likely to develop heart failure within 15 years than those with the highest blood levels, even if they weren't deficient. Vitamin C is one of the body's most important antioxidants. It helps prevent cellular damage by neutralizing free radicals that can cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Oxidative stress and inflammation due to vitamin C deficiencies have been linked to many chronic illnesses beyond heart disease, such as diabetes, anemia, and certain types of cancer. In fact, a study from the National Cancer Institute indicates that the use of intravenous high-dose vitamin C could potentially kill cancer cells. Number four, swollen and painful joints. There have been many reported cases of joint pain associated with vitamin C deficiency, often severe enough to cause limping or difficulty walking. Since joints contain a lot of collagen-rich connective tissue, they can also be affected by vitamin C deficiency. Bleeding within the joints can also occur in people who are deficient in vitamin C, causing swelling and additional pain. Number five, easy bruising. Easy bruising is often one of the first obvious symptoms of a deficiency and should warrant further investigation into your vitamin C levels. Bruising occurs when blood vessels under the skin rupture, causing blood to leak into the surrounding areas. Easy bruising is a common sign of vitamin C deficiency since poor collagen production causes weak blood vessels. Deficiency-related bruises may cover large areas of the body or appear as small purple dots under the skin. Number six, dry damaged skin. High intakes of vitamin C are associated with better skin quality, while low intakes are associated with an increased risk of developing dry, wrinkled skin. Healthy skin contains large amounts of vitamin C, especially in the epidermis, the outer layer of the skin. Vitamin C keeps skin healthy by protecting it from oxidative damage caused by the sun and exposure to pollutants like cigarette smoke or the ozone. It also promotes collagen production, which keeps skin looking plump and youthful. Even though dry, damaged skin can be linked to vitamin C deficiency, it can also be caused by many other factors. So this alone is not enough to diagnose a deficiency.
Number seven, slow healing wounds. Slow wound healing is one of the more advanced signs of a deficiency and is typically not seen until someone has been deficient for many months. Since vitamin D deficiency slows the rate of collagen formation, it causes wounds to heal more slowly. Research has shown that people with chronic non-healing leg ulcers are significantly more likely to be deficient in vitamin C than those without chronic leg ulcers. In severe cases of vitamin C deficiency, old wounds may even reopen, increasing the risk of infection. Number eight, bleeding gums and tooth loss. Red swollen bleeding gums are another common sign of vitamin C deficiency. This is because without adequate vitamin C, gum tissue becomes weakened and inflamed and blood vessels bleed more easily. In advanced stages of vitamin C deficiency, gums may even appear purple and rotten. Eventually, teeth can fall out due to unhealthy gums and weak dentin, the calcified inner layer of the teeth. Number nine, weak bones. Vitamin C deficiency can also affect bone health. In fact, low intake has been linked to increased risk of fracture and osteoporosis. Research has found that vitamin C plays a critical role in bone formation, so a deficiency can increase the rate of bone loss. Children's skeletons may be especially affected by vitamin C deficiency as they are still growing and developing. And last but not least, number 10, poor immunity. Taking vitamin C is a well-known immune system booster, so it makes sense to reason that vitamin C deficiency is associated with poor immunity function. Deficiency has also been linked to higher risk of infection, including serious illness like pneumonia. Vitamin C accumulates inside of the immune cells to help them combat infection and destroy disease-causing pathogens. In fact, many people with scurvy, a disease caused by vitamin C deficiency, eventually die of infection due to their poorly functioning immune systems. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you feel like it helped you in some way, please like, leave a comment, question, subscribe to our channel, and please consider sharing this video with your friends, family, or anyone else that you feel like this information may help. And if you want to support our work, consider donating to our Patreon, Venmo, or PayPal. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon.